Hey, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, can you hear me all right? Yes. OK, good morning, everyone. I'm Yasan Fayozemas. My name is Noli Morimoto. I'm a CTO and Vice President of IBM Japan. Uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to um, welcome everybody uh, who participated in this and the distinguished speakers, panelists, and visitors and guests uh, all come from all along the places. And particularly for those who are coming from overseas, uh, welcome to Japan. This is very beautiful season of Japan, so hope you can spend some time uh, other than this dark room uh, after this event. Now, today is the uh, meeting about AI. And we have an, you know, these days, we heard more and more frequently about AI. Even the original idea coming up of uh, artificial intelligence has been to exist in the last half century at least. But it's keep evolving. And only think about this last four decades. You know, in the 90s, IBM came up with the machine called Deep Blue and played the chess game uh, with world champion Kasparov. Later, 15 years later, we have come up with the AI called Watson, that who appears at the Jeopardy TV show and played the quiz with two human geniuses. And by the way, we won. And here we are. So you can see the evolution of AI is continuing. Now, there's two reasons, uh, major reasons, for the evolution of AI. One is obviously about the digital data availability. The quality, the amount of data increase. That drives the significant intelligence into the machine, and that makes AI more intelligent. Second thing is the hardware, the computational hardware. According to Moore's law, the same price you spend, the computation power you can buy increasing about 1,000x every 15 years. So you can see the effect of the computational power increasing in almost 10 to 15 years, about 1,000x. Another 10 to 15 years, you get million times more powerful machines available. So those are data and algorithm and machine. Those are three elements are consistently combined, providing the advancement of AI, which means, my point is, that AI advancement will not stop here. It will continue to go on and on and on. So that's one thing that you should keep in mind. But something else has not, should not be changed, which is the accumulated human knowledge and data. Those things should stay consistent and to uh, be accumulatable. Another thing should not change is the rule and governance. When we use more powerful tool, we need the more important, more uh, thorough rules to use them. So those are two things should remain the same, while the AI part will continue to advance. So that's the reason we need this openness, because every 5, 10, 15 years, we should anticipate AI will be replaced by more powerful machines, more smarter algorithms. Then what? Your data, your governance rules should stay the same. So you have to keep these algorithms, technology, as transparent as possible so that we all can contribute to the advancement, but also we can all test and verify whether those AI are right to use, okay to use, and make sure that we know what we're eating. So, Having said that, that's the importance of the openness, and that's the importance of this gathering. So I once again thank everybody to come to this very important and timely meeting, and hope you enjoy the rest of the session. Thank you.